Good afternoon and welcome to the service to rededicate a memorial to those who served and died when their aircraft crashed in the parish of Clenchwarton in 1939 to 1945. This is the Air Crew Memorial. And nowadays, uh, the pensional service in the RAF for non-commissioned officer is, is 22 years, so it, it's, it actually works quite nicely. Um, sadly, the, uh, the, the length of service that we now expect from our airmen is, uh, is unfortunately nowhere near what these guys got to see. Um, so, and if they'd have been here today, they'd have been some, amongst some of the youngest in the, uh, in the, in the uh, contending. Today. Um, and how many of us would actually like, uh, like I perfectly demonstrate speaking for the speaking English? Um, it's an absolute honour for myself to take part in the service uh, and play a And if I can say on behalf of the Pledge Board and the Building Committee um, that we're humbled that so many of you have turned up today when we've got the uh, distinguished guests that we have. Uh, We, uh, we actually have um, Richard Brown here, whose family have quite a, a, a large bit of land in the village. And as a young boy, Richard remembers watching one of the aircraft crash directly on his land. We've also got uh, Sir Michael Foster next to him as well. He's the secretary of the committee. And it was in 1999 that Michael was approached with a suggestion that we have uh, a memorial on the, on the, the hall in dedication to the Stirling and the crew that crashed and perished. Through quite a lot of hard work, Michael found out there was actually seven crashes in the village. Uh, six of them were fatal, and unfortunately, uh, 22 airmen lost their lives. Uh, so in 1999, sorry, in 2000, we, we unveiled the memorial, and we actually had a, a really good attendance. Uh, so we had Air Marshal Sutton here, and uh, Representative Marvin, To, uh, to welcome me to my chat with Maria Mar Obviously, I'm not just saying that because he writes my assessment. But, <laughs> but, uh, we also have uh, the deputy lieutenant and the, the deputy mayor representing uh, King Ian, obviously the mayor himself. We really appreciate you coming down for this service. Uh, and our first service as well, uh, some of the family and Michael did uh, some really hard work and managed to trace a lot of the next kid, including a family of the Sturgeon North Park who actually lived over in Holland. And Michael was instrumental in bringing the family over um, and they attended the service. Unfortunately, uh, we haven't got many of the relatives left today. Michael did try and get to the lot. Those who wait upon the Lord shall send their Deliver us from our
history in war, those whom we knew and those whose memory we treasure, and all who have lived and died in the service of mankind. In memory of, on the 14th of October 1941, RCAF, Sergeant Clinton Landis Putney, age 21, of the RCAF. Then on the 24th of May 1944, Warrant Officer Albert Luz Potter, age 27, Flight Sergeant Richard Ernest Gray, age 23, and finally, on the 29th of May, 1945, Corporal Vincent Maestracci, aged 23, and Matalo Claude Moitessier, aged 22. <laughs> of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be among you. Thank you. Thank you all very much for coming and thank, thank you all who have been involved in the service and helped to do the service. A selection of images from the rededication of the memorial.